Welcome to this course on Bentley Open Buildings Energy Simulator. This is the BIM Quick Start ES101 modeler. In this first video, we will cover setting up a new project work set as well as a new modeling file and just take a look at the interface. Over the course of this series of videos for this course, we will model an energy model of the three-story office building shown here. So let's go ahead and start by creating that project work set. Now in Open Buildings Designer, every project would have its own work set. If you are doing an actual BIM model of the, the same building, you could share that work set, of course, but we're going to set up a new one here for the energy model. So I'm going to work in the building examples workspace. That's a delivered workspace. And then we're going to create a new work set within that workspace. So from the work set pull down here, You'll see there's a number of different templates that are delivered with the product, but what we're going to do is create that new work set. So the first thing is to give the work set a name. In this case, I'm just going to use ES Quick Start, but typically that might be your project name. And we could also put in a description such as Energy Simulator. Quick start. And then this is the important step. You want to select a template. There are a number of building templates delivered with the regional data sets. But we also have training templates that are customized for the training courses. And then we're going to select OK. So that's going to create the new project folder with a number of subfolders and any library types of files that we will need as we start our modeling exercise. I'm going to take a quick browse just to show. So you can see here we're in that building examples workspace folder. There's a work sets folder under that and then is our project folder that we just set up the ES quick start. I'm going to just browse back up to the top level. You can see the subfolders that were set up there. Note there's this designs folder. That's where the actual BIM model would be modeled and where those files would be stored. But since we're doing an energy simulation model, we're going to put that in the energy sim folder. So I'll go ahead and open that one up. You can see there's already a number of background drawings in there. Those are going to be used to help us set up the, the actual energy simulation model. Let's go back up one folder, a couple of other folders here. There is an output folder. And if we scroll down, you'll see there is a results subfolder. This is where the energy simulation reporting results would, would get stored for this particular work set. And in addition, there under the standards folder, there is an energy data folder, and this is where a different data that we might set up and customize within this work set for different catalogs and schedules are going to be stored. So let's go ahead and cancel that. And the first thing we're going to do here is set up a new file. So we're going to create this new file in that energy sim folder because this is, is the energy simulation model. You'll note there is a default seed that's already been selected, the Kiva seed MM. And we're going to give this new file a name. So I'm going to call it ES Energy Sim Underbar Office Building. And then simply do a save. And that's going to create the DGN file that we'll work in. But for energy simulation, that DGN file will need to be promoted to an actual energy simulation project. So you can see we get a little warning. It says this file is not a valid open buildings energy simulator file. Do you wish to promote the project? 
and we can either promote it to a standard project or a conceptual project. So in this case, we're going to select standard project, and then it will go ahead and set up our interface based on that. So we now have a new blank 3D file. There is a north arrow indicated, as well as the 00 origin of the file, which is where we will want to start modeling. Now let's just take a look at the interface here. Up at the upper left, we have our workflow, which is the energy simulator workflow. We have some quick tools where we can save, compress, undo, redo, print. And then we have our ribbon interface, and there's a number of different tabs on the interface. For this first course, we will primarily work on these first two tabs. The home tab is where the majority of the modeling tools are. And then in addition, there's a roofs tab that is specifically for building of the sloped roofs, which we will do later in the course. On the left, we have the project tree, which is where all the data on the various floors and rooms and other uh, surfaces that we create will be stored in and navigated. At the bottom, we have a notifications window where we can see any errors or warnings as they come up. And of course, we have our, our three modeling windows. You can actually have up to eight view windows open at a time. And this just gives us the ability to work and view our model in different rotations. So we have a top rotation here an isometric rotation and a front rotation. And at the very bottom, we have the status bar where we'll have tool prompts as well as messages and some various uh, snap settings and lock settings, which we will cover in more detail as we go along. So now that we have our model file set up, we've had a short introduction to the interface. In the next video, we will start setting up the the project tree with some site and building properties. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.